My name is Victoria Sigaoke. I'm a beneficiary of the Wudiro Scholarship Trust. And um, I was under the scholarships um, help during the period 2010 and 2011 when I was doing my A-levels. Um, to be honest, it was really a stepping stone in my life because um, my background, I am an orphan. My mother and father died when I was a little kid, so I've been raised by my mm -hmm. grandfather and grandmother. Mm -hmm. So, and I, and I have um, one little brother. So when the scholarship came in and took over, it was, uh, it, was it alleviated the family because it took a lot of pressure from my grandmother who is now retired and my grandfather. And they managed to also take care of my brother who also exceeded and uh, continued with the school. And um, it also helped me perform well in my A-levels because I had the pressure of having the scholarship behind me. <laughs> so I had the pressure to perform. And uh, a lot of people at my school, because Budiro became a thing, you know. So a lot of people at my school, now are the um, all-level students, now strived to perform well mm -hmm. so they could also be a part of the scholarship. You know, I, I remember we actually created um, a group study for the Budiro scholars. I think there were four, four other students who were with me, and uh, three of them did art subjects. And yeah. so we created our own little study group who were the cool Budiro scholarship <laughs> kids. <laughs> and um, honestly, it was, you know, not having to think about money at that stage yeah. in time, especially having a background like mine. Yeah. It, it, was, it was an amazing thing because they just came from the blue. Mm -hmm. And I, I just heard that, you know, there's a scholarship that's looking for students to fund and they're looking for students who uh, of course who need help but then are also academically apt so it, it's it, it's really helped a lot during that period so from then on I managed to do my A-levels I finished and I got 15 points at my mm -hmm. A-levels and I applied to the Investor of Zimbabwe and uh, where I got a place for law school and um, I'm now in my final year and it's been an amazing experience. I, I think all these years I've been wondering how to get in touch with the scholarship, just to say thank you. Because mm -hmm. people at home always talked about it. They're like, you should just get in touch, just say thank you for what you did. Because they set the ground, really, for where I am. And I'm almost done. And, you know, thinking back, you just think how, how it all started. You don't really think about how far you're going to go mm -hmm. until someone just comes in, sees the potential, and just pushes you towards mm -hmm. it. So um, that was really amazing. And I also got under another scholarship, um, Higher Life Foundation. Um, it's a scholarship that funds, it's an Econet scholarship that funds a student's academic excellence. So they take you as far as you want, whether you want to do your master's, your PhD, whatsoever you want to do. So um, they're the ones who've taken me further from where Budiriro left off. And um, I've come this far. This is my final semester. I have about two months left before I also get unleashed to the world. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah. I just hope that, well, Budiriro keeps on doing what they did for me to mm. other students for I mean for other students because it's it's a it's a stepping stone it, it's really a push mm. for us it was a girls school uh, St. James High School so I can say for a fact especially for the girl child you're not really a priority when it comes to funding your school fees especially if you're an orphan relatives don't see it as an investment mm. you know taking you as far as a level it's we got you as far as all level, look for a job, do something. But um, the fact that Udiyo is coming in and pushing that far, I mean, that's that's really amazing. I hope they keep on doing it for more and more students so that they can also have a success story and say that Udiyo took me this far. And also help Udiyo, you know, aid and um, come up with funding for other students so that you get to do for other children what Udira did for you.